Welcome to Electron Online. Another very important aspect of amortization is knowing how much of the principal to be paid is left after a certain amount of time, especially when you decide to sell your house. Let's say you, somebody buys a house and after five years they sell it and they want to know how much, how much they have left to pay to the bank. All their payments that they made over the last five years, which would be 60 payments, how much of that actually went to principal and how much of that went to interest. And of course, in the beginning, when you try to pay off your loan, a large percentage of what you pay to the bank goes to interest and not so much goes into paying off the principal. And that also depends on the interest rate and we'll show you that in some other videos as well. But first, let's get the concept. Let's assume that you got a $200,000 loan at 4% interest for 30 years and the payments per month, as we can then calculate, would be $954.83 every month. Now, you sell your house after five years, what will be the loan balance? And so the principal remaining will be equal to the monthly payment times the rest of this equation. And notice that here, instead of showing you the time of the loan, is the time remaining. 30 years minus five years which have passed. X will be the number of years that have passed. And so that would be minus M times 25. So let me show you the numbers. And so that would be equal to the monthly payment, which we determined to be $954.83. Multiply times one minus one plus the rate, 0 0.04, divided by 12 payments per year, raised to the minus M, oh, I don't want to put M down, I want to put what M is equal to, in this case, that would be 12 times 30 minus 5, that would be 12 times 25, which is of course 300, and then we divide the whole thing by 0 0.04 divided by 12. All right, let's see what the remaining principle is after five years of making payments. So again, we start with this portion right there. We go 0 0.04 divided by 12 plus 1. We raise that to the minus 300 power. So we subtract that from 1. We then multiply times 12 and divide, divide by 0 0.04 because dividing by fraction is the same as multiplying by its inverse. So times 12 divided by 0 0.04. And then we multiply that times the monthly payment, 954 times 0.83. And that will give us the principal remaining after five years of payment would be $180,894.91. All right. So what does that mean? Well, that means when you sell your house, the person buying the house will give you a certain amount of money because they have to go get a loan. They give you the cash payment for the house. You then take $180,000. $1,894, give that to the bank, and the remainder is yours. So now you wonder, well, after five years, how much money have you paid the bank so far? Well, let's calculate that. So payments made, total payments, would be equal to the monthly payment of $954.83 uh, per month. And we multiply that times the number of months that you've made payments after five years, that's 60 months. So multiply times 60 months. And let's see what that is. So 954.83 times 60 equals. So, so far, after the first five years, you will have to pay the bank $57,289.80. Well, how much of that went to paying off the house, went to, or I should say paying off the loan? So it would be 200000 minus this. So you can see if you take 200000 and subtract from that 180,894.91, you can say that of this amount, a total of $19,105.09 went to principal. And the remainder then went to paying the bank in interest. So then you take, you take that amount and subtract that from 57,289.8, and you can see that of that amount paid so far, $38,184.71 went to paying interest. So here you can say if the interest rates are 4% and you get a loan for 30 years and you pay for five years, after five years, about a third of what you paid actually went into paying off the loan and two thirds of what you paid actually went to interest. And in actuality, that isn't that bad because it can be a lot worse when the interest rates are higher. 
We'll see that in our next example. But nevertheless, of the $57,000 you paid, only $19,000 went to paying off the loan, and two-thirds of that payment went to interest. So you see that the initial payments you make on a house are primarily interest payments, not so much payments to pay back the principal. And that's how we figured it out.